This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about the next match uh, and the performers within it, I guess, most importantly. Bam Bam Bigelow is going to lose to Mike Awesome. They have totally botched Mike Awesome here in WCW. He came in as the ECW champ. They try him as the fat chick thriller. They try him as that 70s guy. They just don't let him just be a badass. We're starting to see some of that here. I guess they're trying to position him as the career killer. I never got to meet Mike Awesome, but as a kid, he was one of my absolute favorites to watch. What did you think of Mike Awesome? Uh, I think Mike, who was a nice enough guy, came into an environment of, of wolves and sharks. And I think there was a little bit of sniffing out that, hey, this guy's, you know, he's a big star with ECW. He's going to be a big star here. I think the antenna kind of went up on a lot of the top guys, the, the more vicious top guys and the smarter top guys. And they figured we're going to have to get this guy to sabotage himself or we're going to have to sabotage him. And it was not too many TVs you started to see adding layers onto his character that he didn't need putting in precarious situations instead of just winning for nine weeks. You know, the old, if the guy was big, he was a good performer. The easiest way to get a guy over today, tomorrow, 25 years ago, put him in matches that have enough time, give him an opponent that knows what time it is, and just go out and win every week and have good matches. And, you know, I, I don't think he really had a fair start. If he would have came to the company 10 years earlier, who knows what the guy could have been. When you're talking about big guys who are smarter and vicious, maybe putting the kibosh on him, we're in code talking about Kevin Nash, are we not? No, no. A lot of big guys. You know, it could have just been guys that didn't necessarily want to go out and bump around for the guy. You know, they didn't want to, uh, you know, showcase the guy. Certainly was not alluding to Kevin. Uh, but, I mean, you had you had the Steiners. You had a lot of big guys that worked for that company. And, uh, you know, certainly if you paired him off the Goldberg, you know what that finish was going to be pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, you do. You can't go there. And, but, hey. That worked. I was in full favor of, of Goldberg going out every week and thumping guys because nobody else looked like him. The athleticism, the striking, even though he was not a great worker, he wasn't out there long enough to be become a great worker. Right. But that's fine because you knew what you had and you go with it and the entire company got behind it. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.